Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to solve problems on uh, helical springs which are subjected to fatigue loading. Okay. So helical springs design for uh, fatigue loading. So uh, what is in general in fatigue loading the component uh, here are the springs generally subjected to uh, some stresses or loads which vary from minimum some minimum value to maximum value. So your stress vary from minimum value to maximum value. Generally, such type of uh, stresses are known as fluctuating stresses. They will fluctuate from some minimum value to maximum value. Okay. So generally, uh, helical spring subjected to fatigue loading. Okay. So generally designed by Soderberg theory using the Soderberg method or Soderberg theory. So using that formula, Soderberg formula, one by factor of safety is equal to tau m minus uh, tau y div, uh, divided by sorry tau m minus tau v divided by uh, tau y plus two times of uh, tau v divided by tau v. So using this formula we will uh, design the, the helical springs okay, for uh, fatigue loading. Let's solve one numerical okay, on this topic. Thank you. It's from 600 Newton to 1600 Newton. So here uh, the spring is subjected to fluctuating loading or fatigue loading okay, which varies from 600 Newton to 1600 Newton, okay. So here uh, he given that minimum load and maximum load. So minimum load is W minimum is equal to 600 Newton and a maximum load is 1600 Newton. The spring, spring index is 6 and design factor of safety is 1.43. If the yield shear stress is 700 MPa and the endurance stress is 350 MPa. Find the size of the spring wire and mean diameter of the spring coil. So here the spring index is also given. So the spring index value capital C is equal to 6 and the design factor of safety. So factor of safety is equal to 1.43. If the yield shear stress is 700 MPa, okay, yield shear stress means tau y. So tau y is equal to 700 MPa and the endurance stress is 350 MPa. So tau v. Endurance shear strength means tau e. Okay, so tau e is equal to 350 MPa. So what we need to find? So here uh, uh, we have to find that value of uh, uh, diameter of the wire. So diameter diameter of the spring wire. Okay, and also mean diameter of the spring coil. So size of the spring wire means we have to calculate that small d and mean diameter. Mean diameter means capital D. So small d and capital. Let's solve this problem. So as usual, first, so just note down the given data. So what is the given data? Just write. So given data. So from uh, given data, so we have uh, minimum load. So the load varies from 600 Newton to 1600 Newton. So minimum load 600 Newton. Okay. And maximum load, W maximum, okay, 1600 Newton. So this is the minimum load and maximum load, okay. So now, <coughs> calculate mean load and variable load. Mean load. So mean load denoted by WM, mean load or average load. So mean load is equal to minimum load plus maximum load by 2. Minimum load plus, so maximum load by So minimum load 600. So maximum load 1600 divided by 2. So 16 and 1600 obviously 2200. So divided by 2 means uh, so 1100 newtons. You will get 1100 newtons. Okay. So mean load is equal to 1100 newtons. Now calculate variable load. Variable. So this is the first step or the general procedure to solve whenever uh, spring, helical springs are designed for whenever we are solving the problems related to the fatigue loads. Helical springs subjected to some fatigue loads or fluctuating loads. Same focus is the procedure must follow the first one find out is the mean load variable load find out. Okay? So mean load calculates variable load. So W B variable is equal to just subtract. So W maximum minus W minimum. 
so they have to subtract maximum load oh sorry minimum load from maximum load divided by so it becomes uh, 1600 minus 600 divided by 2 so how much it becomes uh, 500 meter 1000 by 2 means 500 meters now we have uh, main load and rear one load okay then now so first of all calculate uh, uh, mean not mean uh, first calculate uh, shear stress shear stress factor ks ks is equal to shear stress factor shear stress factor and here shear stress factor you know what is shear stress factor is equal to power 1 plus 1 by 2 so here why we are calculating the shear stress factor you will understand in later stages why we are calculating the shear stress and k wall stress factor wall stress factor if you confuse with the signal then we can simply put w kw kw means wall stress factor okay wall stress factor so you know the formula wall stress factor what is the formula 4c minus 1 divided by 4c minus 4 plus 0 0.615 divided by capital c where capital c denotes uh, the spring index 1 plus 1 by 2 c so 1 plus 1 by 2 into what is the value of c i think 6 what is the value how much value you given 6 so you already available in question so if you solve this uh, uh, if you calculate uh, then you will get 1.08 double three. just okay just check okay so again kw so all stress factor if you substitute value 4 into 6 minus 1 4 into 6 minus 4 plus here the spring index where capital C is given how much 6 so capital C is equal to 6 so, <coughs> so 0 0.615 divided by how much C means 6 okay okay let me write here okay then you will be able to understand so spring index also given spring index spring index how much capital C is equal to 6 so after uh, calculating this expression, this term you will get the value 1.2525. Okay. Please once uh, cross check. Okay. 1.2525. So now uh, we have uh, shear stress factors. Okay, stress factors, shear stress factors, and the wall stress factor and uh, main load and variable load. Okay. Fine. Now. So now we have a main, lo main load, variable load and shear stress factor and wall, sh wall stress factor. Okay. So but according to we know that uh, whenever uh, springs are subjected to some uh, fatigue loads. Okay. So the design is based on Soderbergh theory or Soderbergh method. So according to Soderbergh method, according to, according to Soderbergh method. 1 by factor of safety, there is a formula, so very important, okay, 1 by factor of safety is equal to tau vm minus tau v divided by tau v. So, uh, we know that the Soderbergh design is based on the yield strength, yes. so 2 times of tau v, okay, tau v divided by tau v. Here uh, tau m and uh, we, know, we know that already that the tau y and tau v. So tau y means yield shear stress. Tau v means endurance shear stress. So this tau y and tau v is already given in uh, question. So already present in here, you already given. So what is the value of tau y? So you can see from question itself, uh, tau y is equal to 700 MPa. So it is available, uh, these values are available in our question given they are already given okay just to see the question yes yes tau y is given and tau v is given so here the factor of safety is also given so just to write what are given the factor of safety is equal to 1.43 so here the unknowns are tau m and tau v what is tau m here so tau m means mean shear stress mean shear stress okay so mean shear stress and formula is uh, KS into 8WM, okay, mean load into D by 
by this k. Okay. This k again, uh, this again can be rewritten as uh, how k s into w m capital D by small d becomes spring index. One capital so sorry, eight d k. So capital D divided by one small d. Can I can I write d square into d? Yes, we can. So then uh, capital D by small d becomes uh, one c. Okay, spring index. So remaining uh, uh, d square. Okay. So only remaining is uh, d square. So e w c by pi d square. And similarly, variable stress. So tau b means variable stress. Tau b, tau m, and tau m. So variable shear stress. Variable shear stress. Is equal to instead of k s. Instead of considering this uh, shear stress vector, here we consider wall stress vector. Okay, eight W V D divided by pi d q. Again, it can be rewritten as eight W. So d by d means see eight W V into capital C divided by pi d q. Okay. So now uh, substitute all the so now calculate tau m and tau b. So that's why here you can see K S K W W and W B. That's why initial initially calculated this mean load, variable load, and shear stress, uh, shear stress factor and wall stress factor. Okay. Now we can simply substitute all these values in tau M and tau B. Okay. Fine. Okay. Now go back. Mean shear stress tau m is equal to so K S into eight W C by pi is this. So the value of K S. So the value of K S one point zero eight double three into eight W M. Eight W M. So how much W M value is given? Mean. Okay, mean load. And the C value is given. Spring is like six divided by five S. So if you calculate the, uh, if you solve this expression, okay. So after so after solving this expression, we will get the value of what the mean shear stress. Eighteen thousand. Two hundred and seven point three two five four divided by d square. Okay. Let us see one. So after uh, calculating this expression, we will get this value. Similarly, variable stress K W eight W V C by pi d square is equal to One point two five two five W V variable stress five hundred into six point five S. After solving this expression, okay. so W V so value of uh, Tommy is nine five six eight point three nine five. This is the value of Tommy. Okay. So now we have uh, mean shear stress and variable shear stress. Simply substitute in uh, Soderberg equation. One by factor of safety how much? One point four three is equal to. So one by factor of safety is equal to tau m minus tau b. So tau m how much? So one eight two zero seven point three two five four minus divided by so divided by d square minus nine five six eight point three nine five divided by d square divided by whole divided by tau y tau y how much seven hundred and three right. Two times of tau b, so nine five six nine point three nine five divided by d square, four divided by 
Tommy. Tommy, how much? Endurance. She uh, has she has stress. Three fifty mm. MPS. Yes. Now here uh, we can take D square as common. See D square, D square, D square. Okay. So we can take uh, D square uh, for uh, some for common. Okay. Uh, next we will do. Just take uh, D square as a common term. Subjected to pedigree. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you.